Hello and welcome to another episode of Paul's Model Train Stuff. Last week I demonstrated and doodled a bit on how to build a little circuit, a little driver circuit to power an LED to use in model trains. Um, in that circuit I used two LEDs, one for the front signal and one for the rear signal. Um, I changed it around a bit, uh, instead of using two LEDs I'm now going to use one LED with a resistor because I'm going to build this setup into a uh, French, um, you have, no it's actually Dutch NS train 1300 series, um, cheap train, cheap model, um, it normally has no lighting and I figured well let's let's try to build some in here. I already did uh, all the soldering, uh, this is a similar setup to the setup uh, I drew out here, so, except then of course with the resistor and I already glued in one pair of this lighting because uh, I wanted to know if this is actually going to work and it looked like it, it does really seem like it's going to work. So I'm going to glue in the second set and then I'm going to wire everything up and um, hopefully I have a, a running and train with lights at the end of this episode. If not, then at least I had a lot of fun. So I got this uh, brand new glue gun because my other one uh, failed dramatically. Um, the whole rear section is just uh, broken and uh, split apart. Now, I'm not a great fan of hot glue. I prefer anything but hot glue, but in this instance I just need a big blob of, of transparent glue and uh, this will do. Now it's starting to smoke a bit, uh, that's probably good. I'm just gonna glue a bit on here, I can't even get these plastic parts out because in this particular model they are all wedged in or probably glued. And I don't know if that's by design or that someone else did this. So I just put a blob of hot glue in here and I'm gonna push the LED against it and let it dry for a bit. While testing all these circuits uh, earlier on today, I also burned my finger. Um, happy day, happy day. And the glue is already set. So I'm gonna disconnect this because I don't really trust this hot glue gun. Oops, that's the wrong plug. Oops. That's uh, interesting. That's also the wrong plug. That's better. Let's get this out of the way. Something that starts smoking if you start squeezing it. I don't know. I'm gonna connect my transformator power supply here so ah, there we go I'll gently put this somewhere else right so I have uh, both of the LEDs soldered in I have the two uh, leads coming out here the um, looks kind of black but it's actually purple wire is the ground and the other one is the diode preventing any uh, current flow flowing the wrong way. Now, I have to hook these two up to these wires. And I'm gonna do that uh, I say crossed so if the locomotive in the ideal situation would go that way then that light would burn and if it goes the other way then the other light would be on. Um, and that's the ideal. Uh, that's the idea. Uh, but I have forgot to check um, how I should wire things up. So I'm just gonna have this little test setup here. And uh, there we go. I should get. I should get another color lead for this because this is very confusing. Uh, I have something laying around here. Red and black seems to be the standard. Oh. Black for the negative, which is according to all the other wires here. Red for the positive. And that would give me... This track is the positive track. And that's also the direction of the train. 
So, that would mean that if this case goes on here, well, that end would go that way, so this would have to go on here, and that one would have to go on there, theoretically. I put a little, I should have clipped this before I put everything, glued everything in. And I, I like a challenge. Ow, yes, that's one. It's not very nice to hold these wires tight while I have my fingers burned. But, well, we're not whining. I hope this is gonna hold though, but I applied a lot more glue here than I did there, but let's just assume it's still gonna settle. Because the way this model is built, very simplistically, you take out the whole cover and that would include the lighting. So I'll need a bit of a longer lead so I can actually take this out and move it away without uh, tearing up the uh, wires. So I'm just gonna see. The negative should go on there. Let's see what will be a nice. Uh, so that's a nice amount. And the other one, I'm gonna just get a nice green wire. As you can see, it's uh, I try to keep this uh, workspace a bit clean, and um, today that has failed. It's a complete mess in here. So just gonna quickly remove some stuff. Okay, now what did I say again? Yes, this one to the diode, and that one to the black wire. Got my soldering iron. Now, I'm not good at soldering. Um, I've been watching videos of people who actually know how to solder. And uh, uh, yeah, I should definitely uh, spend more time on that. <laughs> because uh, what I'm doing is not entirely correct, but it works for me. Since this is not some, some high tech, uh, high tech micro electric stuff that's really uh, should all be accurate. Um, I'm hoping I'll get away with it. So here we go, one wire. Oh, oh, this whole this whole connection is just this whole soldering on that end was is, is a mess. Maybe the other one. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. That's what you get when you burn your finger and any, any bit of heat is immediately painful. I could get my uh, my voltmeter out and to check if I'm actually correct with uh, my assumption on the plus and minus. Bah. You learn fastest by making mistakes. <clears throat> and otherwise I'm just gonna uh, twist the whole thing to the other side and it will be fine. Now this will be uh, completely electrical non-safe. Um, I haven't thought about insulation uh, yet. Um, I should cut these things shorter and maybe wrap them in something uh, to avoid any, any, any shorting of the wires and of course if this was something a bit more professional i would uh, but it's not it's my own playground here no here no no oh come on today's not my lucky day Even just soldering two wires seems to be. That's better. Yes, that's a better joint. All right. Now, in theory, yes. Look at that. 
crane is moving that way, sort of, and that's the way the, 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 the direction of the light. So yes, those wires are good. Great. Now the other two. Oh, yeah. Just gonna do the cut here. There's one. And then the nice green. To finish it all off, you can of course use some tape to get the, the wires um, out of sight. Um, you can also consider painting these LED, this LED and all the lights uh, black or putting some cardboard in here so it won't shine through the whole locomotive. Uh, which are definitely additions I am considering right now, but I am out of cardboard. And I don't want to spray paint the whole thing black from the inside. Uh, you know what kind of a mess that's going to be. So. Um, I won't do, be doing that right now. Uh, I'm quickly just turn these. That's better. A couple of leads here. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be one messy, messy bit. <laughs> But hey, yeah, I, I got a, a whole bunch of, of parts for these, all these, uh, you have trains. Uh, I'm very happy to be playing around with that in the future. I even got better engines for this. Um, bought them here from, from some guy who wanted to get rid of them. And I haven't actually been able to really take a good look at what I actually have, but it, it's, uh, it's, I think it could be fun to, to just build a locomotive from all of its separate parts up into something that's actually working it would be cool nah, that's one wire I'm gonna as you can see I'm why I'm, I'm, I'm changing the colors on that end so I keep the colors on the LED part uh, the same so I know that they should be crossed I hope I can remember this one goes to the little purple wire come on come on come on oh almost almost yeah I know my hands in front of the camera and you can't see what I'm doing I'm just doing a bad solder joint here and then lastly this one Again, yeah, uh, you have to actually move this whole model around for you guys to see. Really, it's just me trying to solder a wire to a diode. Maybe you can see it if I do it like that. But even I can hardly see it, so probably not. There we go. Bunch of wires, not very nice make connections. Uh, lots of room for improvements, <laughs> definitely. I may have to shorten those wires, but if I could just click all this together again. I love these simple models, they're great for playing around. Now, seems like it's just a fit. Oh, beautiful. They're both lighting up. Oh, they aren't they? Oh no, that's just the... I have to check this out. Well, oh, that's one lighting. And if I would turn them around, then yeah, it's just a reflection of the light that shines across the the whole train to the other side. Now, and uh, I try to get this into view. Well, you can maybe just see the headlights there. Now 
Kobe. I'll make a separate video of this while it tries to dry on this crappy track so you can see the lights a bit. And um, if I'm gonna add some, I forgot <laughs> some cardboard somewhere, I'm gonna add that as well. So the light from this end doesn't really shine through on that end because it's, it's well, it's a cheap thing. So that's how you build in lights from LEDs in a very old 1970s you have lock, which is uh, which normally does not have any of that. I hope you enjoyed this one and um, I hope to see you next time um, when I'm probably going to do the same thing, but then a bit more decent with a Lima lock that I kind of tore apart for its parts and then none of the parts would fit in what I wanted to use it for. So I'm probably going to do a full rebuild of that one, uh, including the lighting, which is uh, probably still um, fluorescent, no tungsten wire, um, light bulb things. Anyway, um, hope to see you next time. And if you like this video, please subscribe.